what's up everyone it's been a little while since i made a video um unfortunately my flatbed is down so i've been taking the pickup truck to do my deliveries it is super quick it's a turbo i know nothing about trucks but it has major wheel hop this is what i'm going to focus on my evo i uh since i've been taking the pickup truck home with me this has been parked in the garage in the warehouse here at my work which is nice because here in Bridgeport, Connecticut, it's kind of a bad area. And I don't mind leaving outside, but I'd rather have it inside anyway. Um, I finally got to putting on something that I've been holding off on for a very long time. Um, I've been cleaning, trying to get this done. I think if I take these off, I could get into these crevices. Because it hurts my fingers just get in there and get them jammed. Um, what I used was some soap and water clean this these are official oem scuff plates um the 3m taped on the back there's a blue um seal or uh i don't know you gotta peel it off to get the chrome um i use this to clean the hole inside over here along with some uh, uh yeah salt water some uh soap and water this is how it came out um it's th like i said 3m tape on the back I'll leave the link in the description below if you guys want to pick one up. Um, I bought these from MA Performance. They come um, and they come one in a um, plastic um, wrap, so you can pick up two. They're like a hundred bucks and change each, if I remember correctly. Um, if you don't think the 3M tape is going to hold, I suggest buy, going to a store and get yourself some good heavy-duty 3M tape and put some extra tape on the back end of this um, so it doesn't peel up and come up. Um, but the door does shut fine. Let's see. Let me get down. See, this it's going to shut perfectly fine. The way I figured out how to do this was it starts curving up right around here. And where my seat is, I try to line up from this spot right here to this spot. I do have some nicks and stuff like that. It's a used card, anyway. And it starts curving up, like, right there. Um, I like the opposite side a lot better. This should have been moved down just a tad, a little bit. But it is what it is. So, come around here. I cleaned up this. This is how it looks. It starts curving up like right here. So I try to match both sides as best as I could. I like these, they give it a nice flare, nice little, um, nice, nice, it makes a good, makes a good look, it looks good. This rambling on, mumble mouth over here. So yeah, just push down really hard. Um, like I said, the description, the uh, link will be down in the description below if you guys wanna pick these up. It's like a hundred and change each. Remember, buy two, not one. I figured they were, gonna, they were like two in a package, but when they came to me, I was shocked it was only one. I didn't read the, the post on MA Performance, so I had to go back out and pick up another one. So, you can always find pictures online um, on uh, like where to place these if you want. Um, these are for the front. I'll insert a picture of the part number if you want to go to the uh, dealership. <laughs> It's totally up to you, um, but they don't have, they don't have rear ones um, for the back, for the passenger sides, for the back end. They don't have any um, rear ones, um, but I think you could probably pick up some, maybe eBay if you want. And I know the fire extinguisher needs to be in the front just in case something happens. So yeah, this is what, this is what I did today. Since the car's been sitting here doing nothing. I've been taking the pickup truck home because my flatbed transmission is totally shot. It's a 10 speed and um, fourth gear is shot. And when you flip the switch, it goes to fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. So the fourth and the eighth gear is totally shot in the same uh, synchro. So they're not going to rebuild the transmission. They want to get a brand new one. So I'm out of a flatbed for some time. So I've been using the, the pickup truck, which is nice. 
So this car has been sitting here. I can't complain. I just got this car back. Um, the turbo went on it. And it took um, Hartford and Mitsubishi like four weeks to get the new turbo in. It actually was a used turbo that I bought off eBay. They couldn't get the studs out, so I had to bring it to a specialty shop to get the studs out. Then I had to bring it back to Hartford and Mitsubishi. It just was a pain in the ass. 1277 bucks later. So, yeah, the car's doing well. These are VLANs. Can't complain. They look really nice. Um, so, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and I'll catch you guys around.